Welcome back to part two of our Hearts Iron 4 modding tutorial. Uh, last episode, I showed you how to create a mod and where your mod is located, which is where we are right now. I'm in my tutorial mod. I'm going to show you in this episode how to create a country. Now, this is just the beginning of country creation. So, to begin modding, the way Hearts of Iron uh, gets the information from your mod is if you have any overlapping information in your mod with the base game's files. If any of your files contradict each other, Hearts of Iron will always take the mod's files over the base game. So what does that mean? So let's say we're talking about who owns the United States. Let's say we have a file in our mod that says Canada owns the United States. But in the base game, it says the United States owns the United States. Since the mod is turned on, it will always take what the mod says over what the base game says. Now, where do you get these files from the base game? So just open up File Explorer. I'm going to keep this one open. So open up a separate, separate window. And you're going to go into Windows C, Program Files 86. Scroll down to Steam, Steam Apps, Common, go ahead and go to Hearts of Iron 4, and this is where all of the game's files are stored. Now you need to make sure that in your mod it is set up in the same way. So for example, this GFX file, that's graphics, if I wanted to add graphics, I'd make sure for, I have to first put it in a GFX file. Now, for country creation, we're going to need a few files. We're going to need common, because this is where uh, country tags, country names, all that, that's where that's stored. So just make a new folder, call it common. We're going to need history. History. And finally, localization. For my American friends out there, that's localization with an S. All right. So before we go any further, always remember, never edit the Hearts of Iron or files. Make sure whatever files you edit are always in the tutorial. Never move anything from in here, only copy and paste. Never edit anything directly in these files. All right. So we're going to start by going into common, and you're going to see we have more, fo more files. We are going to need the countries file. So we're going to go into our own common, and make a new file, call it countries. So if we go into this one, we can see here's a list of every single country. And we are going to make our own. So, we're going to make our own text document, and what should we title our country? We are just going to call it Tutorial. This is our very generic Tutorial Country. Now ours is empty, so we're going to pull up an already existing one, as you can see, in the existing one it has the graphical cultures so this is what their like units look like and the color of the country so what it shows up on the map so what we're going to do is we're going to find a country let's just do I don't know, belgium like my belgium yeah there's all right and we could just copy and paste this over copy and paste it over there. So now if we were to put our country into the game, it would have the same stuff as Belgium. However, this is not the only file in common that we need. We will also need... I'm going to minimize that. We will also need a file called colors. Because 
for whatever reason, I do not know why, apparently Paradox just likes making things confusing. Despite the fact that you have the colors in here, you also need colors in here. So we're going to copy over colors, paste that right there. Now, before we can continue, we need a country tag. So we're going to go back into common. Every country has a country tag. So as you can see, there's a folder in here called country tags. Just take zero zero underscore countries and we're going to give our country a country tag now if you've ever used console commands this is just a three letter code kind of that every country is given for example germany is ger so if you ever code anything that has to do with germany you're not going to type germany you're going to type ger so for ours it's going to be tut first we have to make sure tut doesn't already exist doesn't tut is not taken so we can use tut space and then that folder we just created earlier or the country file we created earlier our text file make sure it is named the same thing so ours was if we go back ours was called tutorial it's a text document and it's in the it's in the countries uh, file so Go into the countries file it's called tutorial.txt all right there so now whenever we talk about our country it'll always be tut or tut all right now that we have that we can get on to making our country anyway so we'll save that now we need to make our country uh, color. So what you're just going to do is you're going to look up RGB color value picker. As you can see, I already have it up because I have to do this a lot. So we're going to pick a nice color for ours. I don't know. Uh, let's do like a green sort of. Uh, here we go. So 0, 146.39. So go back into your tutorial or whatever you named your country. We can minimize that. So this is just our mod folder file. Once again, never edit the base game files. So our color, 0, 146, 39. 0, 146, 39. But this is not the only one that we have to edit color. We also have to do one here. So just copy one of these. Replace it with uh, TUT. So it was 0, 146.39. That's not what I want to do. 0, 146.39. And then you'll see below it, you there will be color, UI. Now this is just the outline of the country. You want it to be like a little darker, or not darker, a little brighter. So that looks good. 0, 2, or 3, 54. There we go. Our country now has color and unit uh, culture. Now our country has a tag as well as color. All right. I think that is all we are going to do this episode. Next episode, we will be looking at going into the history and localization. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.